من تفرا ريفرال هوسبيتال ساوثرن ريجن within its compound it houses the national fistula center this facility is spacious with adequate rooms to house patients who have traveled from far away for obstetric fistula repairs abzumu men defara fistula center kon qawm khazgo khazgo asatal ta'amatu gerallo nibalu te fistula campaign kabz jimmer gin dargana mabal asarta hamish ta'amatu khaydallo hat hadas fistula ta mazgalla sembida ndat mazaka khama fistula zollo ay maslani አውዝ ምስተንዝ ሐው ያምስ መሰት እተን ካለው ደከማ ዘሎ አምስራያት ግን ወይ ላይ ከማይ ባሰባለኝ አና ሐሐዊ አና ሐሰብ ኮን ለሲ ተስፋት ገበ The Eritrean Ministry of Health in collaboration with UNFPA and other partners has made the elimination of fistula a high country priority since 2004 At this center alone over 1300 women have benefited from fistula repair surgery ወኩልን ዘባታት እንዝመጻ ዋላ ከማን ካፕሱዳን ዝመጽለው ሐን ዋላ ሶማልሁን ሐኪምናይና ዳግማይ ተንሳይ ዝባል ተንሳይ ሜተን ነበር አዲታት ከላይ እንድትሳደል ዋህ የኤንፒኤክ ባል ከሎ ሐ ሐደ ካፕቶም ነዓን ዝሙሉ ወኔም ዝሕግዝ ወኔም ዛሊ ወኔም Fistula survivors have been celebrating their healing day once a year since 2010 on every second Tuesday after Eritrean Easter Today, 17th April, it is that day. It's quite interesting because usually for UNFPA and the world over, uh, the end fistula day is celebrated on 23rd May. However, these women themselves, those who have benefited from this treatment, they decided that uh, they would be celebrating their day on the second sunday of the easter sunday now i'm told that in tigrinya that translates to second rebirth kind of being a reborn and now they take the day very important because for their treatment this signifies their second reborn because they had been suffering with this uh, uh disease and uh, they some were even shunned by families but after this treatment and rehabilitation together with the program we have of integrating them back to the communities they feel that it is like a second rebo- uh, the second bath the government in collaboration with UNFPA and other partners officially opened this facility on April 18 2013 Women who come for treatment here are provided with accommodation prior to and immediately after their surgery and efforts are made to meet the long-term needs of these women for emotional, psychological and economic support. This facility um, was built in uh, 2013 with the help of uh, American friends of UNFPA and before that UNFPA has been collaborating with the ministry Uh, of health to support uh, fistula treatment in different areas before the facility was uh, uh, started and in fact our collaboration started from 2002 so when this facility was uh, completed and with also support from uh, with the doctors from uh, Stanford University in the US we have been holding uh, fistula campaigns twice every year america ri arqutna wonallo hajim yenfa medari tihguzna yo financially ihguzna yo datan umma zadlesi na magbukhun na arawtna yi furnashukhun kull hagizom na amalati sene pesi tsubor kibizalna this year the event was attended by about 100 fistula survivors their relatives friends community members and health personnel of mendefara referral hospital Congratulating the women for their courage, the Eritrean Minister of Health, Ms. Amina Nur Hussein, reaffirmed the government's commitment to work with in-country partners and the community to eliminate obstetric fistula from Eritrea once and for all. ከካለዚ በመሰረቱ ክግበር ከሎ ለሕክምና ጥራይ ዘይኮነ ኔ ተሐድሶ ይተ ቢልደሎ መንግስቱ ግን ንሁሉ ወጣይታትና ሸፈነ 
كله مس مشاركتون إن ده حاجة جزء تزداد اللي حكم النان كله إن يقرب له سلذي تم عزز لكن زيادة تماهير كن فريد كن زيادة خان تن كله أت كت معدن يا أن الناس سجع حجز كبر زين حاجة ذات بخلو بهاي ما نتعاون تكلات وخون بهزبي بعبيو بتم مشاركتن كلاهن بتعمي حجز حجز حاجة ذات يا خي كبر الناس أنيحو. Ministers presence. First of all, Her Excellency the Minister of Health. This is basically her docket. This is basically her program. And what has happened now, the both Minister, Minister of Health, Ministry of Labor, as well as um, even uh, the National Union of uh, Eritrean Women, they have come together and they are now handling all gender issues from the health perspective as well as from the gender perspective, women empowerment, they are now ha holding them together. For me, it was also important because this is one of the areas, the component of maternal health that UNFPA is very, very keen to support. And uh, it's not just maternal health, but also it means restoring the dignity of these women who have been suffering from fistula. The profiles of young women living with fistula in Eritrea are similar. They are usually under 20, some as young as 13, illiterate and poor. The minimum stay for a single patient in this center is three months, and some of them may, they may stay for years. Even there are some patients that would have stayed for about 10 years here. There is one particular patient here because there is grave problem, grave medical problem, and also there is also <coughs> some social issues because they are uh, they are uh, departed from their from their community, from from their from their society as well. So we have to help for such patients as well. Many have been abandoned by their husbands, forced out of their homes, ostracized by families and friends. Without skills to earn a living, obstetric fistula cases are often forced to beg for a living. Despite these hardship, the repaired women show tremendous courage and resilience. <laughs> Tabatu Debesai is one of many that suffered isolation and segregation from her own family and community. Kalchu Muhammad Ali is 23 years old from Ansaba region. She was married at a young age of 15 and ended up becoming a victim of obstetric fistula due to prolonged labor. Today, she comes to the Fistula Treatment Center not as a patient, but to celebrate freedom from living with a condition blessed with a newborn child. Hajjah 
Nonetheless, a combination of limited access to obstetric care and harmful cultural practices such as early marriage and unskilled birth attendance in rural areas means that women in Eritrea still face the risk of obstetric fistula. Nefistula, wogit nkhanabil, zaarna, zahayelan, zahallelan khongkolo. Abgon na mangiste tetsagena, netizgubar zaari, wogit kanabulo khani, nai, nai bahaki nahanam zaayi. The rehabilitation and reintegration component of the National Fistula Program in Eritrea is focused on enabling the women to regain their lives and start reconstructing their future. Women here are routinely given counseling from diagnosis through the post-operation period. During their stay in the ward and in the hostel, they are also given education and some vocational skills for income generation with a view to improve their economic status. The aim is to provide a continuum of care for fistula clients in Eritrea, which includes prevention, treatment and reintegration. The primary sponsor for this centre is the government, but there is some assistance from uh, our uh, partners like UNFPA, the main partners in UNFPA. Uh, when we come to the activities in the hospital, we can broadly classify into two broad categories. One is the medical care for the patients, meaning the medical care for the uh, for the fistula patients and another thing is the rehabilitation part around uh, 250 patients have get their uh, different vocational training the like what the, the handcrafts the hairstyling and some uh, also educational activities in uh, in collaboration with the Ministry of Education there's a program called adult education program with the Ministry of Education and they pay nothing they have to pay nothing out of their pockets For these women, this day has become a day of joy, jubilation, and of igniting hope. They are celebrating freedom from living with the condition, and through dancing they mobilize themselves to raise awareness of the cause of fistula, that it can be treated and most importantly prevented in their communities. Fistula hema mai konan. Fistula buat a bishigir ba amet zimetziro. Ne fistula kana wogudo kabza hager rizi a nevera a nevera na kano blo. Ne ishte isu gumten admit ya tadliana ne tasu gumta a na ikulena na ikulena atari. Fistula ba minta imetz kabakin ne laale default osle zile ne takhababi kan katang asa asa ne takhababi kan na katimhara. Bhelfi bhelfi. مرآة تحت الأدمى كوجد كان زلوا خاب زهاجر كت صعران نحزب خنن خبابي خنن أستم هرو وينكن ما مهران وينكن وتسي خن نخت مهرا لبوا خن حلف ندلي أنا كاب أدق خمزاد لكم دلهو نفسك تغيره أني اللي